Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylerius aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. Alright, listen. Today's video is uh, pretty big. It's actually kind of important. We've got uh, Rockstar getting desperate with GTA Plus. Uh, they're trying to... <laughs> it's a trap! They're trying to trick you into getting it. Not really tricky, but they're just pushing really hard uh, for people to sign up for GTA Plus. And we've got the first most credible um, information about a summer DLC and it's all tied into GTA Plus which is what we're about to talk about right now all right I'm gonna go over the benefits and then talk about what's going on with GTA Plus and uh, why uh, it's actually kind of signaling DLC information uh, for GTA online all right so let's go ahead and get into it as you guys know it is uh, June 30th it's the beginning of a new month for GTA Plus well tomorrow is officially the the you know July 1st but this is the, the kickoff of GTA Plus's new month right here. So let's go ahead and talk about the benefits and why I think Rockstar is getting pretty desperate with this. So I'm not really sure what's going on with that. But let's go ahead and take a look into it. So uh, new GTA Plus event details for June 30th to July 18th. Well, this is your telltale sign right here. Usually the GTA Plus discounts go for a full month. A full like 28, 30 days, right? Well... This is only going for basically 19 days, July 30th or June 30th until July 18th. And Rockstar has already, you know, claimed that they will be tying in DLC content to GTA Plus. So this right here lets me know on July 19th, we're going to be getting a summer DLC because they're going to be putting in new uh, GTA Plus content that's going to be related to the actual DLC. So here you go. So something, I mean, why would they only have it for half a month, right? It's got to be something DLC related. Some kind of update is going to be coming out. I think. We don't know. Nothing has been confirmed. Maybe tomorrow uh, we'll get some information. Maybe the next week we'll get some information. But uh, that's pretty, you know, that, that's almost obvious right there. All right. So uh, real quick, we'll just go over the GTA Plus stuff here. Get the Ocelot look of sports, sports car. Uh, move on to the penthouse, uh, to the, you know, at the, the Diamond Casino. Uh, get GTA shark card bonuses and more. Uh, so here's the car right here. You get your five hundred thousand dollars. It's six bucks a month. Again, they talk about it going through July eighteenth right here. Uh, with new and exclusive benefits for enrolled members to enjoy. So you know, uh, you get talking about just you know the crash pad, at the penthouse, bonus shark card stuff, additional benefits. Uh, and we'll talk about what those are, but this is why I think they're getting pretty desperate for people to sign up for GTA Plus. So there's two things, there's two events in GTA Online that people always ask for that we never get enough of, right? Uh, the diamonds, the diamond actual loot, the target loot for the uh, the casino heist and the panther statue for the Cayo Perico, right? This uh, couple of weeks until July 18th, they're offering... Uh, diamonds for the whole entire uh, month's event, right? So you, there's a 100% chance of diamonds, the Diamond Casino Heist, right? 50% off Lester and support crew cut on the Diamond Casino Heist. Two times GTA cash on standard time trials. Uh, four times GTA cash and RP on the data leak setup finale. And 50% more GTA cash on the VIP contract finale. Okay, and they got the full list of everything on GTA Plus. So they're going hard with the diamonds to encourage people and entice people to sign up for GTA Plus. And I'm telling you guys, listen, I, I mean, do whatever you want. It's your game, all right? I do not have GTA Plus. I, I would love to. I would love to have, I would love to support Rocks on the game. But remember, you know, if, if GTA Plus came out like five or six years ago, it would make more sense. But we're talking about a 10-year-old game that is at the very best broken it's a broken game online is broken there's so many bugs and exploits that people can you know abuse into grief and troll people there's parts of the game that just don't work right um i've been defending red dead online you know i've been defending them saying that they're going to be putting out some kind of content it has now been over a year since they've dropped content on red dead online and even though it's not really a game that i play a lot i still do support the people who enjoy that game and like it and why the hell would they not put out content for that it's a great game it really is uh you know so there's just certain things that i just have to have a stand for i mean this is my hill you know what I mean? So I would love to, because there's some great benefits in GTA Plus, but, 
you know, it, it doesn't benefit everybody. It, for the majority of people, it really doesn't benefit because we've got the money, we've got dime, we've done diamonds, you know. Um, and it's just things that should we shouldn't have to pay for this. They should drop diamonds once or twice, you know, every few months. You know, that's that should be what happens. We shouldn't have to pay six bucks a month to get that when it's already part of the game. You know, I, I don't. That doesn't make any sense. And uh, now they're I, they're going to be hiding more stuff with this DLC behind GTA Plus, and it's just you know. I just don't think it's fair. I don't think it's pay to to win yet. I don't think it's there because, quite honestly, you know, there's nothing about GTA Plus yet that that, that kind of blocks you from advancing. You know, it, they're just perks. You know, we can get as much money as we need through the Kaya, through doing the the casino heist without the diamonds. You know, other ways. Uh, so, but it is it's just getting more and more sleazy. It really is. It's just kind of it kind of reinforces my fact uh, to not get it. You know, I just. I, I would I would I would encourage you and recommend that you don't until Rockstar you know speak with you know Rockstar's language is money right that's the universal language so speak with your wallet and let them know that this is not something you're going to be putting up with because it's just not you know it's not fair to a lot of the players out there right you've already bought the game how many times now you know what I mean like so let's but uh, again please Daddy Larius won't be mad if you if you go ahead and get GTA Plus it's all right uh, I just think that you know we need to stand united on this and kind of let them know hey man let's 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 focus on quality of life improvements on the game let's focus on uh getting some kind of content for people who enjoy red dead online even though it's like i i know listen i, I understand the business part of it you know red dead's not a big part of their business part of their income but you know to just let it go like that's kind of i don't know anyways but here's some of the more of the uh the gta plus uh perks so you get the five hundred thousand dollars member only shark card bonuses stuff like that property bonuses uh, again, it's claim these events, the, the claim these event benefits through July 18th. So DLC info should be coming soon and possible DLC on July 19th. All right. You get the Ocelot Locust, really not even that good of a car, to be honest. Uh, some of the add-ons we got here. So hundred percent chance of diamonds. Like we talked about 50% off Lester and support crew cut on the diamond casino high. Some more bonuses on that 40% off the casino store penthouse decorations, you know, uh, that's been a while ago. This is really cool. Three-time daily chip claim bonus. That's cool. I like that. Right? Uh, yellow wireframe bodysuit. I hate that Rockstar hides this behind GTA+. Plus. I am the kind of guy... I This is what I would go for. I like these cool little clothing items and stuff like that. I like it when GTA puts it behind events and, and things that you can do in GTA Online. For example, the beer hats... Uh, are available this week the, for the Independence Day event for the the bonus event, uh, and you have to get event. You know, the, you have to do the business battles. You get event cargo business battles. Those are fun. You know, those are challenges. It's not hidden behind a paywall, right? So you get the yellow uh, wireframe bodysuit. You get the blue and yellow glow shades, which you know, again, dope. Yellow checkered round shades. These are things that I would love to be able to go in GTA Online and complete challenges for to get these. It's just, you know, that that's ridiculous, right? Uh, the Session Glow Necklace. You get this little little glow necklace. Uh, yellow and blue camo livery for certain vehicles and stuff like that. You get it for uh, the half track. I think the Mark II, a few other things as well. So let me click on that. Yeah, you get it for the Oppressor Mark II, the Bravado half track, and the Ubermont Revolter. So, yeah, man, it's just a bummer that we don't get to get all this and enjoy that, you know, for everybody. But it is what it is. Uh, in addition, you get two-time GTA cash on standard time trials. We talked about that. And quadruple GTA and RP on data leaks set up in finales. So, yeah, man, uh, they're they're really – I think they're just kind of get a little desperate on this. Uh, there's a, you know, earnings report call. There's an earnings call coming up. Yeah, so I'm sure that's influenced uh, some of this um, – I, you know, it, it, it does feel like desperation. <laughs> it does, right? So, you know, I want to bring this up to you guys. So we got some GTA Plus infos, new event week. And then we have, because of what, how they've structured the GTA Plus uh, event, not week, but event, uh, you know, whatever. The summer DLC could be coming on July 19th. So there you guys have it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you have GTA Plus? Uh, do you think that Rockstar is a little desperate on this, trying to push it with these diamonds? Uh, again, please play your game however you want to. This is your thing. You can do whatever you want with it. Uh, and do you think we're getting a DLC on July 19th? Do you guys think we're getting an update to GTA Online? It seems like we possibly could. Uh, I think Tez even tweeted out something about this. 
Uh, but that even that that looks really you know that sounds like something that's in Rockstar's kind of like their formula when they do stuff like this. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the Illustrious Rose content in the game. Smash, I mean, smash that like button. We'll see you guys in the next one, right? Peace out. Yeah.